I... I know, I know. I, uh... I said I would leave you be for a while. So we hung up last night, but, uh... I had to see you. Because after our conversation, all I, all I thought about was you. And us. That's all I thought about till dawn. Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Not quite a pair, are we? Margaret, we can't pretend that, that Blair isn't pregnant with my child. But I hope that we can work through it together. And can I come in? It's fine. I don't think you're going to like what I have to say. I didn't even want to think about you and Blair being together. Much less this. And I know I have no right to blame you for being with her because I was married to Dylan. I know I have no right to be angry. She's pregnant. Oh, it was an accident. Yeah, that's what Blair said. I've come to realize there is no such thing as an accident when it comes to Blair. What are you saying? It certainly wasn't planned. Well, she knew Todd was gone forever. Why not try to trap you, huh? A baby would be perfect. I don't know what's going on in Blair's head, but I certainly never intended for the woman to get pregnant. Yeah, things happen. That's life. Margaret, please. Tell me what we can do with this. Tell me what we can work through it. Blair's going to have your baby. How do you expect me to live with that for the rest of my life? I, uh... I don't... Margaret, look at me. I was walking on the streets for hours last night. Just thinking about you, thinking about us, thinking about what we had, have. And I wanted to remind you of the hard times that we've been through already. This is different. Blair has your baby growing inside of her. To me, that changes everything. Um, what, what are you saying, Margaret? Are you, you're saying this is over? I just need to let it sink in. I need, uh, I need some time. You've got that. I don't see how we can really do anything. about the future, but I can't. I'm having trouble with the present. Hi, Marty. I was just coming here to see Patrick, but I can see that my timing isn't exactly stellar. No, it's all right. Um, is this something, is this more news about Carlos' murder? Patrick is still Hank's lead suspect, if that's what you're asking. No, I really just came by to fill Patrick in on uh, my conversation with Todd's eyewitness, Zeus Zelenko. Oh, sounds like a stage name. Funny you should mention that. Um, basically, he told me the same thing he told Hank, that he was down at the dock, and <clears throat> the night that Carla was murdered, near enough to the dock that he heard a very angry <clears throat> Irish voice threatening someone. I was never on the bloody deck, Nora. I'm sorry, um, you said there was something odd about this Zelenko yes, guy. Yes, something did strike me as very odd when I was talking to him. He kept making a quarter appear and disappear, you know. It was very good, it was very impressive stuff. Very impressive. But when I asked him about it, he said, oh no, magic was just a hobby. Then about two minutes later, he admitted to being a working magician in Europe. Why would he lie? Hmm. Exactly my question. Even down to his name, Zeus Zelenko, it sounds like a... a, a Professional magician's name, doesn't it? But there was nothing amateurish about the way he kept pulling seashells out of my ear like what? he did. Excuse me, but what, what does he look like? Is he um, thin and blue eyes, dark hair? Yeah, that was young. Yeah. He was at the Wild Swan. He, he did that the same seashell thing to me. Oh, that's right, and I remember him being there the night I was drugged. Well, you never told me about that. Well, you never described him. You see, 
Carlo set up Blair and myself so he could kidnap Star, and I thought maybe Zelenko was attached to that. I have no idea. Well, that explains why he would show up with a story for Todd. Revenge for his dead boss. Well, could be, but Todd's never going to enlighten us on that subject. Blair, on the other hand. Do you think she might know something about? Only one way to find out. Let's go ask her. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not going with you. I don't want to see Blair. We just found out that Blair's pregnant. And the child is mine. Oh. Well. I guess that certainly qualifies as a complication, doesn't it? No wonder you're so frazzled. I'm sorry. I... Yeah, that makes two of us. Makes three of us. Better not the only person who's not sorry. You think Blair planned it? Oh, come on. I have a lot of ideas, but the only thing I know for sure right now is how angry I am. Okay, well, gee, this is about as low as an issue gets. Um, my concern right now is, uh, Blair. I mean, under the circumstances, you think she'll be willing to help us? As you said, there's only one way to find out. Okay, let's go. I know you don't want to go, but I have to. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi, Marty. Come on in. Thank you. Yes, you've heard. Yeah, we well, just told me. How are you doing? Fine. What's done is done. There's nothing I can do about that. Did you get any sleep last night? Mm. Have you eaten anything? I'm not hungry. No, I didn't think so. Honey, you're not all right, okay? This is bad enough in itself. The last thing you want now is for your lupus to flare up. Yeah, thanks. You're worried about my condition, but... All I can think about is Blair's. Well, I know you're upset. But you cannot allow yourself to become this stressed. What about the position I'm in here? The woman I hate, who hates me, is pregnant by the man that I love more than life itself. It's a mess. Yes, I know it is. It's hideous. Believe me. <laughs> I know all about it. Which is all the more reason for you not to let it get the better of you. But the damage is done. Patrick and I are going to be tied to Blair for the rest of our lives. What could be worse than that? Well, you and Patrick not having each other at all. Well, how exactly are we going to have each other? My dream was about, you know, living happily ever after. You still can. I'm not so sure. You know, just the other day I was thinking about the fact that I was going to be with this man for the rest of my life. We'd sit by the fire and, I don't know, maybe read me some of his poetry and we'd just talk about everyday things. Because we'd be go upstairs and just fall asleep in each other's arms till morning. How can all that happen now?